It's back to school time and I need to find all of my school supplies and I need to find it for the cheapest price possible. Come with me and I'll show you what I found. Hey, hey you guys, it's Christina from the Purple Alphabet and we are trying to find the best prices, the best deals for school supplies and it is Target versus Walmart. Let me show you what I found. I wasn't even sure I was going to post this video because it is kind of late, but on Instagram, a lot of you told me that you haven't started school yet and that you wanted to see a back to school video. I'm not quite sure if it's too late to post that or not, or if you'd be interested, or if I should just like throw it out and put up something different. So I need your help, let me know. So with 98% of you saying yes, here is my back to school video. Let's start it off with crayons. Now I am comparing Walmart versus Target in like items. I'm looking for the cheapest prices and you can get so many different types of crayons. You can get bigger boxes, smaller boxes, all different prices. So you really need to price compare when you're out shopping. But I am gonna compare these right here, the pack of 24 crayons. I've seen them in a couple different box styles, so be careful and look out for them. I've seen these new teacher ones. I've seen the ones with these special blue crayon in them. And so when I compared both prices in Target and Walmart, they came out to exactly the same at 50 cents each. So you can buy these at either store and be good to go. It's also a good idea to stock up on these and donate them around Christmas time when you do operation shoe boxes or even for orphanages or for your own supply stash. Moving on to markers. Once again, we're gonna compare the Crayola brand. There's several other brands out there with different prices, but I am looking specifically for the 10 pack of thick classic markers or the 10 pack of thin classic markers. Both at Walmart and Target, I found them at very, very similar prices at 97 cents at Walmart and 99 cents at Target. So if you wanna save a few pennies, you can get them at Walmart, but pretty comparable in prices if you ask me. construction paper. This item is not a commonly bought item, but I found it on our school supply list, so I thought I would do a comparison. Walmart had a ton, I'm talking a lot, of selections to choose from. So you have to do the math, take the pages, and divide them into the price to find out the price per sheet to get your best deal. And they had name brand, they had generic brand, they had big packs and small packs. You really had to look and do the pricing on that. I'm not too sure about the quality difference, if any of y'all know, you can let me know below in the comments. But I found that this Sunworks brand was the cheapest one and the best value at Walmart if you got the larger pack. Each sheet of construction paper came to just a penny, a little bit more when you worked out the math, but I found it to be the best deal overall. Target also had a Target Up and Up brand. I didn't see any of the name brand back in the school supply section, but they also had a need to do the price comparison because you had larger packs and smaller packs and they were all different prices. So you kind of had to do the math there. But when I put them all together and did a price comparison, I found that they were just about the same. I took it out here one decimal point so you could see how close they were in comparison. They had different size packs. So if you need a little bit more, maybe you would go to Walmart. If you need a bit less, you can go to target but overall they're about the same the scissors why are there so many different types of styles and scissors there is all kinds of different ones and for ages I'm gonna look at the blunt and pointed scissors for ages four and up they had some other styles on there but these seem to be the cheapest ones available they are the Fiskars brand Fiskars also had several others to choose from as well that were still pretty cheap so if you don't like the styles that were the cheap ones you could upgrade a little bit but in the price comparison for Target versus Walmart it looks like Target beat out Walmart this time at $1.49 for the same kind of scissors. Let's move on to colored pencils. Once again, we're sticking to the Crayola brand because right now is the best time to buy the Crayola products. And there are several different types, the Twistables, which are my favorite. You can also get the 12 pack or the 24 pack, but for price comparison, let's first look at the 12 pack. And at Walmart, they were 97 cents, and at Target, they were 99 cents. Still very, very close, a little bit cheaper on the pennies at Walmart. But if you need a bigger size and you want to get the 24 pack, you can get them for $2.97 at Walmart and $2.99 at Target. Once again, just pennies difference.
Moving on to another essential, glue sticks. These are something to stock up on now. And there's all different kinds of packs that so can be very confusing if you need two, if you need six, if you need 12, or if you have several kids and you're gonna divide them out, do the math and find out which one is cheaper, how much it is per glue stick. Because if you only need one, it might actually be cheaper to buy the 12 pack in the long run so you can replace it now instead of throughout the year and always have a stash. They also have the giant ones. I'm just gonna stick to comparing the regular size ones from Elmer's. This one was a little bit more easy to compare because they had similar packs at each store. They are two for a dollar at Walmart. I'm not sure if they'll charge you just 50 cents. Pretty sure they will. And then 50 cents at Target. So you're gonna have an equal deal there. If you need a bigger pack, 392 for the 12 pack and 349 at Target. So just a little bit cheaper at Target for the same brand and the same pack. They had clear glue and glitter glue and disappearing colored glue and glue that turns colors. And they had different sizes too so sometimes your teacher will want a particular size but if you just need that plain old bottle of Elmer's glue that's washable you can get it for two for one dollar at Walmart and 50 cents at Target once again same across the board can't go wrong either way. Pencil pouches are my favorite because you guys know I use them for busy bags. Walmart by far had the most selection that I have ever seen, even compared to Dollar Tree. I was actually really surprised at all the different styles that Walmart had. So if you're looking for something different, a variety, definitely go there. These are the ones that I use for busy bags. I always stock up on a hair. They have that little plastic window in the front, but there is a huge selection and all kinds of different sizes. You're bound to find one that works for you. Target had some too, but but they weren't as much of a selection and they were really cute, just not as many. You can get this style, which is the very, very cheapest you can find at 48 cents at Walmart and $1.99 at Target, but the ones at Target had a zipper on top, so they are a little bit better. But the ones that I use for busy bags, 97 cents at Walmart and 2.99 at Target. Now these aren't exact same brands, but they are similar styles, so just keep that in mind. Also, I wanted to point out these little pencil boxes. I mentioned these in my Dollar Tree back to school video. These are great for storing supplies, all kinds of learning materials. They're a dollar at Dollar Tree, obviously, and 97 cents here. The ones at Dollar Tree were a little bit cuter. And these were also new, and I really, really like these. For just a little bit more, you can get this really cool pencil case that has an extra little compartment on top. They're your typical case, but just have a little bit extra room. I like those. And they cost just a little bit more, $1.88, than the regular ones here for 97 cents. So 97 cents for just a plain old pencil case and 99 cents for a very similar one at Target. For this one, I'd pick the one that you think is the prettiest. Filler paper is a huge need. You can get it in wide ruled or college ruled, but this was a little bit harder comparison because the pack sizes are different. You can buy these in packs of 150 sheets in wide ruled or college ruled at Walmart, but at Target, it's a little bit different. They have the nicer reinforced filler edge paper that's a little bit more expensive in wide ruled or college ruled, but they also have the cheaper version at 175 sheets per packet. So in the price comparison, these came out to 82 cents each at Walmart and 99 cents at Target. It's about the same when you work the math. There's always a huge selection of notebooks and it can be a little confusing. So I'm gonna stick to the basic, basic, basic ones that I can find. They have one subject notebooks that have kind of this paper edge on them in wide ruled or college ruled at 70 sheets per package. And they also had this other style that had kind of a different cover on it as well at Walmart. But when I price compared both of the cheapest ones, 25 cents at Walmart and 50 cents at Target. So much better deal at Walmart for these. I also wanted to do an honorable mention on Target. They have the Mead notebooks in all sorts of different colors for 59 cents. So if you would like a name brand one, look there. And then the composition books, Target had some composition books in different colors, so did Walmart. They are both 50 cents each. So just kind of go for what is your favorite. I definitely think that Walmart had the biggest selection when it comes to composition notebooks. So if you're looking for something a little bit snazzy, check there to see if there's something that your child likes the best. 
Once again, an honorable mention goes over to Target for having the Mead brand at 70 sheets per notebook, and those are 77 cents. This is actually cheaper than the Dollar Tree. Dollar Tree was selling them for a dollar. You can also buy a whole package. These all come in one. I think there's like five different notebooks in here if you just wanna be easy and buy them all at once. It's still not the best deal, but you can just grab them and go. They have them in spiral bound and in composition bound. Okay, I have to admit that the pens were really too hard to compare. So I'm just gonna point out some different brands here. The Paper Mate here were 97 cents for 12 pens in them. I could not find the same ones at Target. I did see some big ones here at Walmart for $1.17. And then over at Target, you can also find some big ones for 99 cents. These are not the same style, the same type. So I don't know, you're gonna have to figure out which are your favorite pens and probably not skip on them because pens, you need to get the good ones. My kids need some highlighters this year to do some schoolwork. And once again, these all had varied packages per store. So I tried to find something similar. I'm sticking with the Sharpie brand here and the thick ones. This one at Walmart comes at $2.72 per pack and there's one bonus one, so you get five in there. And then over at Target, they had similar packages, but not exactly the same color. So you had to look carefully. They varied in price, but I saw one similar to the Walmart one for $1.69, but it only comes with four markers. If you need a little pocket pencil sharpener, there are several different styles to choose from at Walmart. I found a cheaper one and a mid-range one. These are supposed to go into a little pencil pouch. This one here is not the Walmart brand, but it's a 94 cent one. So it might be a little bit better as far as quality. Target also had their up and up brand. So we have a price comparison of 47 cents versus 50 cents for the comparable style of pencil sharpeners. Eraser is the same thing. You can buy these generic or you can buy them name brand. At Walmart, the generic ones were 48 cents and at Target, they were 49 cents and you get two to each pack. If you wanted the name brand Papermate, they're $1.47 or $1.49 at Target. And then pencil top erasers came in at 57 cents at Walmart and 50 cents at Target. Moving on to pencils, one of the most important tools. And I highly, highly, highly recommend getting the name brand Ticonderoga because these actually are great pencils and you can buy them in different sets and different package sizes. So once again, I keep saying this, you have to do the math to figure out how much it is per pencil. But for comparison's sake, I really had to figure out which ones were sold at Walmart and which ones were sold at Target so I can give you a good idea. So I'm gonna go ahead and take the 24 pack because that's what each store had. It was 4.47 at Walmart and 4.49 at Target for a 24 pack of the pencil. So Either place, you'll do fine. Binders are also a necessity. I wanted to point out the prices of these clear view binders where you have the pocket in the front and you can put something in the cover. The two inch ones at Walmart are $4.36. I did not compare these at Target though. Target had a very, very nice selection, but they had more of a rainbow color selection. So if there's a particular color you need, check there. They also had the name brand Avery ones, which are a little bit more expensive. These are all $4.99. So price comparison on a one inch view binder, 192 at Walmart and 189 at Target. Target wins this one. You can also find those plastic binders that are a little bit more flexible for 87 cents for a plain one at Walmart. They come in lots of different colors. These are the ones that you probably see at Dollar Tree, but they're actually cheaper at Walmart. Not by much, but just enough to make a difference. Folders come in so many varieties, so you have to be very careful what you buy. The kind that are plastic that have the prongs and the pockets inside are 50 cents each at Target, but Target wins out with all of the different colors for sure. If you want just a pocket folder, those are 15 cents each at both Target and Walmart as well. Once again, Target winning with the color selection. So if there's a particular color you need, you're probably gonna want to go to Target. That's where we found a special color. And another shout out to Target for having the Mead 5 Star brand at 99 cents when I did this video on sale. So if you would like a name brand one, you might wanna check there. And a little extra that's not a typical school supply and that would be storage. And this goes out to Walmart for having some really, really fun storage options. I love that they have these little book bins at $9.97 for a whole pack of five. That is a great deal and they looked really, really sturdy. They also have these little containers in rainbow colors. You can put these in a desk, you can store things and the larger containers too, $2.97. These are great deals. And if you don't like the primary colors and want something more fancy, they also had selections like this 
for $1.99 on the book bin and other containers as well for storage caddies for putting crayons and other supplies in. So if you're looking for storage, I would definitely check Walmart. Thank you guys so much for checking out. Let me know where you have scored some huge back to school deals. I would love to hear where you found yours. Make sure to click subscribe to see more videos like this and give me a thumbs up to show your love.